Finding your favourite titles within the effects library can be a bit of a pain. What we're going to do is find our favourite titles from the effects library, customise them just that little bit, and then save them directly back into the effects library within their own folder so they're always there, always ready to go. Now you do need to be on DaVinci Resolve 17.4 to do this one, but it is real quick, real easy, so let's jump right in and I'll show you how. So here we are within any old project in DaVinci Resolve when we're currently on the Edit tab. First thing we need to do, obviously, open up the effects library, top left hand corner, and then we're going to come down to titles. Now what you want to do is just find the title that you like. Scroll through, find any ones that you like. You need to do these one at a time, so just make a quick list and then you can pick them up. So I'm going to go for starters with this one, center reveal. We're just going to drag it, pop it onto our timeline as normal. Once it's on there, just give it a click, so it's highlighted in red, then right click, and we're going to open in the Fusion page. Fusion will open and you should see something like this. If you don't see the nodes down the bottom here, just click on the words nodes up here in the top left. And then we also need to make sure that our inspector is open. So click on inspector, top right hand corner to open that. Now what we're going to do is click on this center reveal. So this is the bunch of nodes which actually creates that title. Just give it a click and then you'll see you've got the options within here. Now in this video, we're just gonna customize the options that are there to us. We're not gonna drill into all the nodes and figure out how these titles are created. I can create another video where I'll show you how to create your own titles in the future, but for this one, we're just gonna stick to the basics. So this is a simple center reveal. Now I want it to be like a Mr. Alex Tech title. So I'm just gonna go within here and I'm gonna change it to Mr. Alex Tech. And then we're gonna change a font. Let me just grab another one, which I like. That'll do. We can change the color. I'll change my tracking. Do all the things that I want to do. Let's add some motion blur as well. So now we've got this. And this is the one that I want saved permanently so I've always got access to it from the effects library. Now it's really simple. All you're going to do within the nodes here, just right click on this center reveal, go to settings, second from the bottom, and then go to save as. Now you need to make sure that you save this file to the correct location, but this trips people up quite a lot, especially if you're using Windows and Mac, it can get really confusing. So this is the process that I recommend that you follow at least for the very first time, so you all know exactly what we're doing and we're dropping things in the right place. So what I'm gonna do, I'm just gonna jump straight onto my desktop. I just need to find an area that's really quick and easy for me to access. I'm gonna create a new folder and I'm just gonna call it Titles. I'm gonna open that up. And then within here, we can just change the name. So I want this to be Mr. Alex Tech Reveal. This name is how it's gonna appear once you import it back into DaVinci Resolve. So make sure that you set the file name there. And then we're just gonna hit save. Now that's just saved it to the desktop. What we then need to do is to import it into DaVinci Resolve. So still within Fusion, all we need to do, open up our effects library, top left hand corner. We're gonna click the little arrow next to templates to expand that. We're gonna expand edit. And then we're just gonna click on the word titles and you'll see all of the existing titles within here. Then what we need to do is just to open that folder outside of DaVinci Resolve. So I'm just gonna open up my file explorer. We're gonna to go to desktop. We're gonna to go to titles. And then I've got my Mr. Alex Tech reveal dot setting here. I'm gonna give that a click and I'm just gonna drag this over here to this area here where all these current ones are. And I'm just gonna release. And that's gonna import it into here. So if I was just to scroll all the way down to my Fusion titles and have a little look, I should now be able to see Mr. Alex Tech Reveal. So that's imported it into DaVinci Resolve. But I want to create some folders for it. So what we then need to do, right at the top here, I've got these three little dots, give that a click, and then you should see Show Folder. And then this folder should open up. Now this is the exact correct place. This is why we did it in that method. So we know we've got the dot settings file within the correct folder. All you then need to do is to create a new folder. So I'm gonna right click, go to new, click on folder, and then you just name this whatever you want the folder to be. So let's just say I want this to be my titles. And then I'm gonna grab this Mr. Alex Tech Reveal and just drop it into my titles like so. And that's it, we can close that down. Now within Fusion, if I expand titles, you can now see that I've got a folder called My Titles, and within there, we've got our Mr. Alex Tech Reveal. So I'm gonna hop back into the Edit tab. I'm gonna delete my Center Reveal. Same thing, Effects, Titles. I've got My Titles. I've got my Mr. Alex Tech Reveal. I can just drop that on my timeline, hit Play, and it's good to go. I can give it a click, 
open up the inspector. I still have all my same options in here, so I can increase the size, tracking, font, do whatever I want, but it's already in a nice folder and it's already got my customizations ready to go. Now, if I wanted to do another one real quick, you don't need to follow that whole process all the way through. So this time we're gonna select this one, which is fade on. We'll drop that on here like so. We'll right click, we'll open in the Fusion page. We'll click on my fade on node. We'll change this, something once again. Change my tracking, because I like my tracking like that. That will do, perfect. We're then gonna right click on the fade, settings, save as. Now, as you can see what's happened for me, is it's already remembered the area that we're in. So we've gone to templates, edit, titles. I can see my my titles folder. So I don't need to save it to the desktop or that temporary location anymore. I know exactly where I am, titles, my titles. I can see my Mr. Alex Tech reveal. So for this one, I'm just gonna call this Mr. Alex Tech fade, save that, go back to the edit page, titles, my titles, we can now see I've got my Mr. Alex Tech fade as well, we'll drop that on there, we've got our fade, Mr. Alex Tech, all my options, job done. Now if for whatever reason when you're doing a second one it doesn't automatically open to that folder, don't fear, just basically repeat the same process. So I'm going to save this one to my desktop, to my titles once again, it's just called call out, we'll hit save, then we're going to open up our template, edit. This time we're going to expand titles. We can see my titles. And then if we open up that folder, we've got my call out. I just drag it directly into my my titles folder. And there we go. It's good to go. You can even do a bunch of these at once. Go through all the different titles, save them all to that temporary folder, get a whole list, 10, 20 of them, however many you want, highlight them all, and then drag them into your my titles folder. And they'll all install in one big go. You could even create multiple different folders within that area if you want to, just to make sure that everything is exactly where you need it. And it's as easy as that. Thanks for watching. See you next time. Cheerio.